What's up, everybody? It's DL926 here on this fine victory Monday. Um, I just heard that the, that the charges were dropped against DeAndre Baker. And uh, I'm definitely disappointed with the way that whole process worked out. You know, when 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 these thing when these allegations came out against DeAndre, I was I was a guy that said, you know, we need to sit back, we need to wait, and, and just kind of let this process play out, and and keep DeAndre Baker on this roster based on the capital that we used on him, and you know, based on the information that was provided today, you know that the the decision that we made came back and, and bit us on our ass. You know, we just lost a first round draft pick because we decided to cut this guy too early. Now, I understand the guy was a problem as far as, you know, falling asleep in meetings, not knowing the playbook, this, that, and the other. The kid was 22. He's now 22, 23 years old. You know, he's a young kid. This is what young kids do. I did the same thing when I was a kid, when I was in my mid, my early 20s. I used to just not pay attention and, and not do the things that I was supposed to do. It happened a lot. Now, I'm sure I'm not the only person out there that, that did those things themselves. You know, but we acted too fast when it came to this kid, and and it's just it's it's very disappointing that we let him go, because I thought the kid, I thought the kid had a lot of ability, and he would be he would be a if he could develop into a, into a good corner, and we could put him on the other side of of James Bradbury. I mean, that would be a great one-two combination at the cornerback position. And now we do not have that at, at our disposal because of a decision that we made, just because you know it it was it it. PR wise, it just didn't make us look very good. And I can't stand that. I really cannot, man. Like the media just dictates everything. And, and the uh, the owners of these teams, they're, they're so worried about how the media is going to view them and how people are going to view them. I mean, that's honestly a, a, the problem with society nowadays is I'm, I'm not getting into all this, but I mean, you know what I'm trying to say? Everybody's so worried about, you know, how they're perceived to the public. And it's just, it's ridiculous, man. If you believe that, that something is right or something is wrong, stick to your decision and don't worry about what anybody else thinks. It's it's as simple as that. But, you know, DeAndre's a free agent now. We can sign with any team. If I was in his position, I wouldn't even think to come back to the New York Giants because I would be like, you know, I knew I was innocent the whole time and you guys cut me and threw me to the wolves. And, that, and that's how I would look at it. So I, I don't expect DeAndre Baker to take any calls from the New York Giants. You know, even if they did, even if the Giants tried to get in contact with him about resigning him, I, I don't, I don't think he would even entertain the idea of doing it. I don't necessarily blame him. So, I just kind of wanted to speak on that. You know, I, I wish DeAndre the best. Uh, he's got to get his head on straight. I think this whole entire process probably scared the living, you know, what out of him. And you know, you may see the, the best out of out of DeAndre Baker, you know, in in the in the future because of this this whole series of events that has taken place because I think he, he realizes that his whole entire livelihood could have been taken away easily. If, if all these, you know, charges and everything went through, you know, he could have been facing 10 years in prison or, you know, whatever, whatever charges they wanted to give him and whatever kind of sentence they wanted to give him. But I think he may, he may come back with a little different view and, and, and say to himself, you know, I need to work a little bit harder and I need to, to do the things that I need to do to excel in this league because, you know, this is my second chance. You know, even though I didn't do anything wrong, you know, this is my, my second chance. So I can't blow it. But, uh, yeah, he's probably going to get that chance with another team. It's not going to be the Giants. You know, I don't, I don't see him signing with us. And, uh, yeah, I just wanted to come on here and speak about that and, and let, you guys, let you guys know how I felt. As always, I hope you guys have a good day. Thanks for checking out my content. Uh, I'll see you in the next video. Until then, see you. Bye.